we got to get you a check of the forecast. Which, yeah, of course, we, we know it's going to be hot. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> you know, at least I will say, trying to think on the, was it, glass half full? Um, mm -hmm. Going to the bus stop will feel decent. Now, recess, I, I can't promise you anything, <laughs> any good news on that one. I hope they let the kids have recess outside. I, I know it's going to be so hot this afternoon. Sometimes they just, nope. We're staying inside. Uh, my kiddos don't start until Wednesday, but um, I know we're going to have to find things to do today to keep them indoors. We've been doing that the past few days, actually. <laughs> it's been so humid out there. Humidity continuing to stay on trend today. 90% is what we're waking up to. Now, last work week, it wasn't this humid. It was still technically up, but not in the 90th percentile. Um, so I will say that is going to be probably the more noticeable thing than anything today is how humid it is. It starts to make uh, quite the difference, especially in the daytime heating hours afternoon. Um, and the temperature and the feels like temperature. We'll see that for sure today. 77 feeling like 78 right now, so not so bad. Um, but yeah, I felt the heavy air when I went outside first thing this morning and I noticed that there was no wind whatsoever kind of contributes to making it feel warmer and more humid as well, right? Uh, clear skies though, 85 Waco right now, a little hot spot there. Uh, 73 in Centerville, 78 Colleen and 81 in Georgetown. Those are the current feels like temperatures. Uh, radar. Let's zoom out because obviously nothing is ongoing at all across Texas right now. It is going to be sunny across the whole state other than um, up near the panhandle where they might have a light shower at most. Uh, it is pretty quiet here. The Midwest getting drenched early this morning. They've had a lot of rainfall lately. Thankfully, the east coast of the U.S. getting a break after so much flooding all last work week because of Debbie. Debbie now out of the picture, but let's update you quickly on the tropics. I got some good news for you. We've been watching potential Ernesto likely is named later on today, about a 90% shot of that. You can see not very organized right now, but will be. And then uh, models are projecting for Ernesto once it's named to go up towards Bermuda and then potentially curve northeast, which would be good news for the eastern coast. I know a lot of them are sweating it out right now, watching potential Ernesto going to be our next tropical storm likely today. Like I said, 90% um, shot of that. Um, but if it does curve northeast, that would be good news for the east coast. They certainly do not need another system approaching the east coast this week. Uh, but we'll continue to update you daily on Ernesto once he is named. Um, potential feels like temperatures. I mentioned there's going to start to be a contrast between the actual temperature and the feels like temperature due to the 90% humidity. It feels like 100 plus noon plus today, probably through the 7 o'clock hour. We're still feeling like it's triple digit heat, so maybe find something to do indoors. I know I'm going to try to do maybe the penguin exhibit. I didn't get to do that um, and want to for my kiddos out at the Waco Zoo. Uh, 98 on average this afternoon for Temple and Waco and the surrounding areas between about 95 and 100 for high temperatures. The next few days, warming trend. Down towards Austin, Crawled Station, maybe a stray shower thunderstorm tomorrow. That is the only chance for rain for anybody uh, near Central Texas this week. It is going to be hot and sunny every single day. Feels like temperatures about 100 to 110 daily, depending on where you're at. No chance for rain. The seven day forecast is a very um, copy paste, copy paste August type of forecast. Yikes!